Hello and welcome to Byte Shift. Continuing from the last video, as we said, we are going to have three different screens Splash, Login, and Home. So I've gone ahead and created a folder called Screens. Inside of it, we have three different components called Home, Login, and Splash. So as you can see, these are normal bare CSS screens with only the screen name in it. So let's jump and do some coding. In app.js, this is a default app.js, I'm not changing anything. Let's go to the documentation and here we see we need to include two different things called navigation container which is a wrapper and create navigator, create stack navigator from react navigation hyphen slash uh, stack sorry. So let's go ahead and copy it. I'm doing it in app.js because this is the entry point of the app. You can create a different file for it and export it from there and, and include this inside in the return statement also. So let's remove it. Let's remove any other thing that we don't want. Style is not the objective of this video. So let's just get rid of it and also we're going to write our own component so this is not required I'm going to clear out this app default uh, component that came out of the box so let's copy this app and also we would need the stack object which we have copied and inside of it we have navigation controller container and the screen component has screen object rather has two different props called home and home screen basically what we're going to do here is we're going to copy is copy this uh, thrice and I'm sorry copy this thrice and first screen is splash second one is login third one is home so let me just go ahead and include them. Visual Studio Code will help us do this without any manual effort. So that's it. We have included all the three screens and this should work now. Let's go to the emulator and let's try to reload this and let's see what it shows us. So here it is. We have the splash screen coming up for us. Good job. Now, as a bonus, we have the header also coming out of the box with React Navigation without any manual or manual effort required. So this is something which comes to us pre-configured and it also has awareness about the stack situation if you if you are in the second screen it's going to give you the back button itself since this is the top screen because we don't have anything behind this so it's it doesn't have a back button so good for us let's go to the splash screen and try to go to the next screen which is login screen so for that let's take a component called button and quickly just give this the title of go to login and the call to action that we want is props dot navigation dot navigate okay and then here we have the route name which is login so be um, pay some attention here because this route name has to exactly match with the screen name that we have provided so if we see the splash js and what is this props let's also console log it and see what's inside props here it is. 
let's reload the app again we see the button and if we click on it we are taken to the login screen that is what we have tried to do and it's working let's see the props what's inside props so here it is this is a debugger and as we can see we have an object called uh, navigation which has a lot of functions and out of those navigate is what we have used we have a go back we have pop to top we have push and we have pop so we're going to try out each and also a replace which is a very helpful function so let's see the use case of each and every function that we have so the navigate navigates us good thing but let's think that you are coming from the splash screen to the login screen and you should not see a back button here right this should not be a push operation it should be a replace operation so instead of navigate let us just say I just want to replace this and let's see what happens after this so ideally when you go from splash to login it should replace only the splash screen and only one screen should be there in the stack that is what it is we don't have the back button now which is a good thing because if you try to go for the hardware back you are taken out of the app this is exactly what we want so let's go to the routing again which is the app that we are trying to make and similarly what we're going to do is in the login screen we are just going to copy paste the button for going from one screen to the other let's paste it go to home let's take out the button component from react native and our destination is home and it should be replace operation because we have already logged in so now here let's go to login okay we don't have the back let's go to the home and here it is now we have we might have one more situation where suppose we just want to go from the home to the top screen okay so in that case if we have screens in our stack suppose we did not do a replace but a push push is similar to navigate so let's do a push from login let's also do a push to the home screen and from home we want to go back to the splash screen again suppose you want to go back to the top of the uh, stack so what we're going to do in that case is suppose we have a button with some title and call to action go to top of stack and here it is pop to top and we don't need to specify any route in that case so let us see this example how it works Let, let's reload it we have splash we are pushing one screen so we should have the back button we are pushing one more screen and let's see if go to top of stack works for us or not if we press this we are taking to the top of the stack which is splash screen good now we have covered push pop pop to top and replace and these are the different operations that you might need see you in the next video where we are going to do a draw navigation demo and for till then it's a goodbye from byte shift